Rob Zombie successfully made the jump from music to film, but now he's perhaps facing his biggest challenge yet, reimagining a beloved classic film. Halloween comes early this year with a modern reimagining of John Carpenter's 1978 horror classic. Trick or treat, baby. Rocker turned director Rob Zombie is back with the ninth Halloween film of the franchise to reboot the iconic series. This Friday, the man behind House of 1000 Corpses and The Devil's Rejects is reviving psychopath Michael Myers, who once again breaks out of a mental institution to find his baby sister, killing everyone that gets in his way. But modern horror films don't scare audiences the way they used to when Halloween first graced theaters. Will Halloween put modern horror remakes to shame? And what exactly does Zombie have up his sleeves to scare modern audiences? Strap on your killing mask. It's The Loop. All right, everybody, it's an honor to have him. My guest tonight, director of the new Halloween movie, Rob Zombie, joins us in The Loop. Welcome back, Rob. How are you, sir? Good, good, thanks. Uh, now, Rob, a lot of people are talking about the horror genre in general and, and how it's been changing and evolving, but there's always that old standby of that, hey, it's supposed to be scary, right? It's supposed to, at some point, frighten you if it's a horror film. And I'm wondering what you think it actually takes to scare audiences these days. Well, obviously, things change as time goes on because people get, people get jaded somewhat and they've seen everything, you know, because everything is available on DVD and they've watched it to death and they've watched the special features and how they know how everything's done. But I still think, you know, having screened Halloween the other night for a bunch of people and seeing that they were scared and people were coming up to me and saying, like, you know, I had to sleep at my friend's house. I didn't want to go home alone I, you know, and this and that. I think what, what found, people get scared by really is, is the story. If they're into the story and they're into the characters, they forget they're watching a movie and they start fall, you know, you start lulling them into this, this thing that is a movie where they're really following the journey of these people as if they're watching something real. And then when things start happening, I think that's when they get scared. If they're always consciously watching a movie in their minds, I don't think it scares them. So is it about, it's, it's sort of about that tension and the pacing of the action that is happening versus gratuitous torture porn 24-7 to the point where you don't even care about these characters? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, a movie is just, uh, uh, you know, you're manipulating people's emotions, and whether it's a comedy or, or, or horror movie. I mean, you're trying to get them to look at a piece of film and have an emotional response. So, I mean, in a way, you just need a more sophisticated bag of tricks to get to them each time. You know, and, and when, when I think what I'm trying to say is like maybe like a movie like The Shining, when I first saw that, it became scary to me because the, the pacing of it just lulled me so much that I felt like I was in that hotel so that even the sound of a little kid riding a big wheel on a carpet <laughs> seemed scary when clearly it's not scary, but your, your mindset started slipping and you started, you, you were so sucked into it. And I think that's what gets to people after a while. When I read, you, you said that, that your Michael Myers is, uh, is really nothing compared to the ones before, that your, your Michael Myers is going to be the scariest, it's going to make the, you know, the other ones look like pansies in comparison. Uh, it, was it hard coming up with, when you, when you reached into that bag, did you have to come up with new tricks to pull out to make that happen? Well, sure. I mean, obviously, the first Halloween is, is amazing. It's, it's an amazing film. I love it. It was terrifying to people. It's probably still terrifying to people. But then what happens is you get a character like Michael Myers who over the course of seven sequels becomes so familiar that basically he runs dry. So to me, the trick was how do you take something that for 30 years has become so iconic that he's almost like Ronald McDonald. You just recognize him so much and make him scary again. And what I thought was you start back at the beginning and start with him as a kid and really tell his story in great detail so that by the time you know, iconic Michael Myers pops up, your mindset of who you think this character is is completely changed, and that's the only way to get to people is by just sinking so deep into them. It's not just going to be because he's a big guy in a rubber mask killing people. Sure. You know, that's, that was fresh and new in 1978, but now you know, we've seen that a million times. And I hear that a lot, that we've, we've seen it a million times, not just with Michael Myers, but with regards to movies in general. And some people are saying, in fact, there was an article on Wired.com yesterday that asked if, if video games are scarier than anything Hollywood can do because video games are providing these new experiences where you're actually interacting with the environments that you're in. And it, it kind of was, was almost sounding a, perhaps a premature you know, death whistle uh, for, for movies in general, saying, hey, video games are where it's at. And I was, you know, I see a shrug and I, obviously you don't agree with this. Well, I mean, that's always happens. I mean, it's just, you know, people are always saying it's the death of whatever, you know. 
as soon as someone says, no one will ever make a successful pirate movie. Can't be done. You know, Pirates of the Caribbean comes out. Right. Nobody wants to see a movie with dinosaurs. Jurassic Park. I mean, as soon as somebody sort of states something, it, it almost inevitably begins to happen. But I understand the video game thing, because I remember playing certain video games, you know, like first-person games, that it's kind of what I was saying earlier. You're, you get so sucked into the world of the video game, because sometimes you sit there and you play it for hours and hours and hours, that when, I remember doing this with, I think it was Alien vs. Predator or something, and you're going through these corridors and you get, you, it, you know, it messes with your mind. You feel like you're there after a while, so that when something comes out, you start feeling this real feeling like you're there, and you're like, wait a minute, I'm just playing a video game, but you're so in the game, and that's essentially what you need to do with a movie. You have to get people so into it that, that because big, giant, gory things, that, that might sicken people, but it's not going to necessarily, I mean, it might scare some people. But, but would you venture to general, say that it might be harder to do that in a film because, you're, you know, the, the, the viewer isn't perhaps as immersed as they would be if they were controlling the action themselves? Well, I mean, it's a different experience. I mean, obviously, it's, it's not as going to be as first person as a video game. But, I mean, think of any film that people say are scary. It's just, it's, it's like, like, think of Blair Witch Project. You know, everyone was like, that's the scariest movie ever made. And I think the reason they thought that was just, it was, it was manipulating them in a way they had never seen before. Now people can watch and go, like, why was that scary? I don't remember why that was scary. But you just, you just have to, you know, you have to get inside their heads in ways that they're not prepared for. And you kind of sneak up behind them and suddenly they go, Jesus, I'm completely freaked out watching this. Well, but Bob, I cannot. You, they can't see it coming. I absolutely can't wait to be scared uh, out of my wits by Halloween. I, I wish you the best of luck with it and your future projects. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Of course, huge thanks it. to Rob Zombie for joining us today, everybody. Halloween opens in theaters everywhere this Friday. Attack of the Show, weeknights at 7, only on G4.